there is that common thread of that vision, that way of doing things differently, which I think does reflect how the, um, the collectors are. I'm Marina Ruiz Colomer and I'm head of middle market sales in contemporary in Europe. Jerry and Phyllis Rappaport started their journey together, their collecting journey, and they were extremely passionate about what they collected, but they were also very generous with their time and with their financial resources. In 1996, Jerry set up the Rappaport Foundation, which originally set out to engage young leaders in public policy, in medical research and the arts. In 2000, they set up the Rappaport Art Prize, which is one of the most generous endowments of its type and has helped so many young artists to become who they are nowadays. It is a very interesting collection. There's an underlying interest in painting as a historical medium, but there are different currents. So you have a big interest in Europe, or we have the American abstract expressionist. Someone like Helen Frankenthaler is a key picture in this collection, and her work Passage from 1971 is a super interesting example of her work. In the 70s, Helen Frankenthaler had developed her soaking and uh, pouring technique and it is in this series, the drawing paintings, where this work belongs to, that she incorporates a drawn line into the painting. It is a very seemingly simple element to add into a painting, but it is actually something quite revolutionary at the time. Another work from the collection that is a, a, a fantastic highlight to have in the evening sale is Sean Scully, Barcelona. Sean Scully had traveled to Mexico in the 1980s and had seen the Mayan ruins in Yucatan and was fascinated by those constructions. And something that he was really attracted to was how the blocks had been set by the Mayans to construct the pyramids. Um, and it is something that ends up making its way onto his canvases. Again, another artist who is very interesting as an incorporation into Jerry and Phyllis Rappaport collection is someone like Georg Baselitz, whose painting Uncle Willem is a very poignant example of his career. Uncle Willem is actually Georg Baselitz's uncle, Willem, uh, who was a priest in Dresden, but who was actually someone who really encouraged Georg to pursue his career as an artist. Finally, we also have a fantastic work by Anselm Kiefer, one of his deeply philosophical constructions with different media that he adds onto the canvases. These are really fascinating constructions and very intellectual interpretations of what painting can do nowadays. We're so excited to be including these works in our evening and day sales at the end of June here in London. And the rest of the collection will also be offered in our auctions in New York. So works by Max Beckman, Adolf Gottlieb or Hans Hoffmann will be in our sale rooms later on this year.